one more lead with this, and then we're going to jump on Rug. Uh-oh, we're on play points. Oh, we're oh. actually playing for money. Oh, no. I mean, you can say that, but, like, at the same time, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was always really confused. I didn't know you had a bathroom right there. Yeah. So when I was watching your stream at home and you said I got a little bathroom, and I saw you walk that way, I was always so confused. Yeah. Because I was like, I know. Yeah, Yeah, like, uh, this condo is uh, two, two and a half bathrooms, and so Mm -hmm. I have a master bathroom, Mm -hmm. which is pretty baller. So, hope they don't metal image us. Uh, we need them to like not kite sail and metal image us, or just double kite sail us. There's there's a lot of things we need them not to have. Yeah. Who's this guy? Point zero knows who I am. What? Oh, it's Austin. Nice oh. man. Oh, okay. That makes sense. He's on humans. We are playing against a friend. Let's see what they got for us. It's aggressive. We're playing against Austin Mon. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. How do we know that? Because he told us. Oh, he's in the chat? <laughs> no, he's in the game chat. Oh, really? He's uh, on humans? That sounds like Austin. Andrew, we'll try. I'm so good. <laughs> I think I'm just going to car and take the vial. Uh, I agree. I agree. How does, he, how does he beat this worm coil or walking ballista? Is my question. He does not beat the walking ballista. This looks like a typical. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he gets a star. <laughs> yes. Success. He does get to kill the Karn, which is. I fine. do think I was kind of a mistake on his part. Because he knew he had Tron, that he didn't play the. Do that on our upkeep. Violet on upkeep or uh, yeah, or, so. yeah, yeah. At the just, end of the draw step, yeah, just free booter. Because if he took if he took Karn, it limits our play to walking ballista. I mean, we would have just ballista shot two at kite sail. Yeah, right, right, but it also but he it would just, have he would have a vial again yeah. this turn. Yeah, he would have a vial going on three into his turn, which is very oh. cool. <laughs> he's either, he's gonna name walking ballista. I sure hope so. Otherwise, he's gonna be in a real bad spot. So we're gonna drop a worm coil, and we're gonna really hope. That, oh, he, named, he named worm coil. He named worm coil. Okay, so he's just gonna lose. Okay, so he's not watching the stream. <laughs> but he knows about the walk. He knew. He knew about ballista. Oh, yeah, he did. Didn't he? Yeah, he knew. About he just made the choice. He just doesn't care. Well, he just oh, he just knew what we had on top of our deck. Yeah, he's just <laughs> <good at this. laughs> So this still isn't that bad because we just end up, we have 8 mana, 9 mana, so if we, we're just going to end up shooting the Freebooter and the Metal Image. I'm just going to shoot one of them. No, just one? Like, most likely I'm just doing, unless he did that. Okay. That's, nice. that's nice the play that I would have shot both. Because otherwise, I would have been okay just taking the one from Kite Sail. Yeah. And then taking, um, and then having Middle and Mage die, and then next turn I can keep up ticking. It's gonna be a six draw. I mean, five five champion. Yeah. So if I play Reflector Mage, we're in a pretty rough spot. 
Um, does that change anything? No, we don't have ten minutes. We do not have enough Well, to we could get ensnaring, which is the only thing. Yeah, which doesn't make a difference right now. Okay. I think we just crack the chromatic star. We just play it, crack it, dig a little deeper, and we still have enough mana to just warm coil. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose. So the only reason I don't like that play is this play could punish us pretty hardly if they have a reflector. Sure. But it's yeah. fine. But the, we know they don't have, he has only third mana yet. Well, if we find the Ugin, like the big thing is we just find the uh, Ugin and we just win. Like that. So, I mean. <laughs> Freaking Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're just good at this game, okay? I just said we just need to Oh my gosh. Why am I not playing Tron? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just know what the top of Why my is. Why is your whole team just not Tron? <laughs> I've asked you guys this question before, to be honest. <laughs> is that team team event in Philly? Is that it's, it's team modern? Is it unified or non-unified? Uh, I believe it's just team modern. Oh yeah, which one is it? Just team regular team modern. So we okay. I'm just gonna play rug. Before we do go. But it like, limits everybody else on your team. No, no, no. It's not unified. It's just regular team modern. Oh, then we'll just all play Tron. No. Oh, wait. Dewey's ditching us. I forgot. That's I have a work thing to you're, go you're to. No, but no one wants to be on our team. Yeah, you guys have a Tron player. A little too Tron in a row. I'm still in the room. Dewey's Tron deck. I am more than happy to ship you my Tron deck. No, I want to actually steal it. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't see a problem you're doing. I mean, I do. <laughs> I'm on Blake's camp. I'll let you borrow it. Don't worry. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. All the manas. Oh, we're just... Good at this game. I forgot how you know Dewey plays this game. Once in a while. I'm just gonna play no All these cards. There's just the new cards. There's nothing there. They just oh. they they keep having Facebook posts of like new cards. I'm like, did something just new get announced that I wasn't aware of? No uh, stone. Current cards pretty good. It's no Ugin, but you know whatever. They'll name one card and we'll play it. Or Ballista, we have all, as long as they're not blowing up our lands. Okay. Now, bear with me on this that. play, Dewey. Yeah, they can't. Dewey, bear with me on this, okay? Okay, I'm bearing. So, what we're going to do okay. is we're going to play the new Karn. Then, we're going to search up a liquid amount of coating, okay? Take out one of the lands. T you mean shut down both of his vials and his secret Yeah, course? that's exactly what I mean. And... Oh, that's a, he's gonna pick Karn Liberated. Please pick Karn Liberated, Austin. Please, 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 please. I s <laughs> don't see. Don't read new card. Please don't. I mean, if he <laughs> takes new card, we just play Liberated and take it back. We just wait another turn. It's fine. I know, but I just please, <laughs> please. I just wanted it. If because if it just goes to Dewey's next turn, we just card the Great Creator, switch up Liquid Metal Coating, literally shut shut him down for like a whole turn cycle. Just tie one. <gasps> we did it! We did it! <laughs> oh no. We can't do it. Uh, what is he gonna name? If he would be smart, he'd name Ballista, I think. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. So we just play Blast Zone? Okay. What? We're not playing Blast Zone. Okay. No, we're, well, I don't know why we won't play Blast Zone. Take it up to two and then just play the tower on the next turn. Because now we're just gonna play Worm Coil. Yeah, yeah, I get, to drop, I drop, yeah, I get to drop a Worm Coil. That's reasonable too, I guess. Have you ever dropped a worm coil on turn three? No. Some say it's pretty good. It's good magic. No. Good clean living. And then next turn we can like swing with worm coil and then down tick our we'll be down a three card. Mm, it's really gonna suck when you reflector mages. You know you normally reflect they would side reflector mage out. I'm not sure. <laughs> you feel like he'll keep it in just for me? Yeah. He's done it to me before. <laughs> I know. I just see it happening now. <laughs> There's a damping sphere. Well, that's a card, I guess. You know, that Blast Zone, you know, beats that card, but okay. We got this. He's, yeah, he gonna, he's gonna swing for one, and then we're gonna Blast Zone him. Yeah. I'm in. Oh, he's gonna put another two drop on the battlefield. That takes fine. Sure. Uh, we're good with that. Blast Zone right. happens to not be an X spell. 
blast you should him. ask Austin if he, you know, did he see this blast on the hand? He did. Run away. He did. He definitely saw it. <laughs> he you definitely know, saw like, it. Now that I think about this, Blast Zone has made your control matchup versus humans amazing. A little bit better, yeah. yeah. I can't search it. I can. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Amulet's even playing Blast Zone now. That's a good card. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah. They can also search it up. Not as easily as Tron, but... Seem like the correct play. I'm just playing. Out, I'm just giving you the options, do it. Or we just draw O Stone. And just leave our blast zone alone. I'm just gonna swing. I would just swing and play O Stone. No, I'm swinging and just holding up blast zone. Okay, sure. So you're playing. But then we could play card. What? When you blow up blast zone, we could play the other card. How? No, because it costs three cracker. Oh, that's right. You're. Man, it's half for one round. Damn it, Good card. Don't talk to me. I'm the one playing it! What's the chance they have a Phantasmal Image? Man, they're playing another two drop. Have they read book? Has Austin read the last one? No, they have a Phantasmal Image. What okay. is he doing? That's, that's fine. I'm so confused. I don't know if he's read Blast Zone. No. <sighs> Like a lot of people I've known is just play into Blast Zone because they just haven't read it properly. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and realistically, we didn't don't even need to crack Blast Zone because when we're attacking, we're gaining six and they're attacking for six. I mean, I'm cracking it. I want to tap for mana. <laughs> yeah, he wants to. He actually wants to actually end this game. Reasonable. And he can actually kill them. Kill them next turn. Just attack and play worm or walking no, ballista. I am, however, gonna take. No, you just play walking ballista and kill them. Yeah, just take the uh, damage. No, I'm taking the damage. Yeah, Why? You take, you take the damage. Because then I can like step in case he has like another damping spirit. Yeah. Okay, so he's just dead. Hey, I believe in him, man. If he is, if Dewey rips another Tron piece. We can might those blacks lock him. No, okay. oh, we just killed them with walking ballista and worm. Coil. He is playing around Karn Great Creator though. Reflector. Oh my god, is this Reflector Mage? Oh. Deputy of Detention. Sure. Hot dog. Now we just play Ostar. Look, you're trying to be reasonable here. I'm trying to see if I get land. <laughs> Lock him with a slip god. No! Okay. Well, Do we? Play, just play Ostar and play, play Great board. Creator. Please play Great Creator. I want to play Great Creator. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Play what? Just minus and look at the second word. Just grab some I just mm -hmm. want to. No, I just want to play this. That's fine too. Shuts off his. His vials are shut off. Vial. We're going to tap down his sacrum. Yeah. I'm, I'm in on this play. See, with my line, he would be dead in our next turn. Well, Blake, your lines are suboptimal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why did you tap down the planes? Oh, wait, no. no I didn't tap down the planes. He did. I he, activated he the secret. Oh. Yeah. He used the canopy to draw a card. Oh. And then he's realizing, he's like, now reading Carly Great Curry, he's like, oh, no. <laughs> It does all of this. And then, no, the next turn we turn O stone into a free three to block. <laughs> Ooh, he drew a hierarch. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna play him again. 
I've done that before. Nope. <laughs> like, remember the last time we were sitting next to each other and we were playing Roto? Oh, God. Roto matched us up against both, each other. At the same we time. We were playing in the same room. At the same, at the same time, it's just like, both of us put it out, and Blake just goes, on the couch. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were sitting next to each other playing, and I just, let's see, go. Yeah, you guys kind of staggered the, the, the Q button just by like a couple seconds. We didn't know that. <laughs> Do we look at us? Do we look at guys who think about that? That's like, like, so like, did you guys ever play Halo? Yeah, no. Of course. Huh? I would have to order the Xbox oh, and play oh Halo. Oh my gosh. Okay. He just naturally. So, yeah. Halo 2, um, matchmaking was starting to become a bigger and bigger deal, mm-hmm. right? And one of the things that was happening is that you could get the matchmaking system to match make you against your friends purposely so you can queue up but you'd have to just queue up at the same time and be like oh did you guys match up yeah we got match up okay did you get match up yeah we got match up oh okay keep going <laughs> so you could boost people that's, that's, good that's uh two phoenixes sir it sure is it sure is hmm. i think we just gotta play we're gonna have to karn and exile one and then hopefully they swing at us Yeah, it doesn't seem great for us. I'm just putting it out there. You may not know this, but we do it, but underneath my TV at home, there's a PlayStation 1, followed by a PlayStation 2. Oh, no. Followed let by... Me guess, let me guess. PlayStation 3. You are correct, sir. <laughs> followed by a PlayStation 4. Who would have thought? So, like... That's reasonable. That is my uh, game of history right there. I don't know if you know this, Dewey, but we're, like, dead on his next turn. Yeah. If he has a bolt. There's a lot of things that he has that can kill us. So we're just going to play to the best of our ability. It's really unfortunate he would love to play. You're not wrong. This is just one of those matches where it's just like it. Gross. Did he find another one in the yard? No? Okay. I think this is me. Destroy my life for these games, Banjo's. Oh no. Flashback, baby. That's what it feels like. Oh no. We have no stuff. What are we worried about? Uh, sure. What is this? Map? Why is he starting to map? He just wanted a creature, I'm pretty sure. I think he wanted free information about the hand, too. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he also gets to copy anything. Oh, Wait, yeah. what just happened? The Sahili's effect to make a uh, servo turn into any creature you have, so you can copy and turn uh, into yeah. a flight. That seems good. That's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> seems reasonable. We right. just died to Sahili. Yeah. That hurts him really light. good in the team. Seems light. That was a bummer. I did not see that one coming. I don't think any of us did. We lost because of search for extraction. Good card. I mean, we had the option to play Walking Ballista instead and yeah. shoot down a Phoenix, but... Yeah. I think that... Like, so the play line to do Karn is a more... I think it's the better line, because you guaranteed get rid of the Phoenix. Yeah. Where the play of the Walking Ballista is very, um... Very reactionary. Yeah, these hands are terrible. You can't keep that. That's fine. <laughs> fine. I mean, try to turn three. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> no big deal. Do not blow this up upon it. They don't have. Phoenix doesn't play what beta. I don't know. Man. Effect removal spells. They play a braid. Maybe he's he's playing Sahili. We don't even know what he got. Yeah, I, saw, I saw Phoenix players talking about playing that, but like I never saw it in play. I'm curious if it's gonna make it in the storm, though. To be honest. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, interesting. Thing in the ice. Yes. Play Karn. We're just gonna get Trinisphere here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, on the next turn, play last. That's the plan. 
We need them not to have a three mana bolt. Got it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. See, and like that to me uh-huh. seems better than Chalice because that's what other people are playing now. Sure. Chalice. Yeah, Transfer is just uh, better consistently. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Because it makes decks that have one and two drives and zero drives just mm-hmm. turns them all into the same thing. Where Chalice is very reactionary based on the deck. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll see if this is good enough. We are on the draw after all. I've seen many a Noah lose to Phoenix on the draw, so. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so mad. He gets so tilted by Phoenix. Like, He's just like, it, the deck just gets lucky. It just literally gets lucky. I'm like, well, you know, it sees a know, lot of cards. Half of its deck every game. That's, that's, not, that's not bad either, Sanctum. Alright, we need them not to have a, an Abraid. Thing in the ice again, opponent, do it. Are we gonna be able to flip the thing in the ice and get some phoenixes in play? There's no phoenixes. Blood Moon. Ugh. It's not the end of the world. So like, Blood Moon here means they're not flipping that thing in the ice very quick, and we can still play card next turn. Yeah. And there's the interesting one. That's. Oh, stone. Yeah, we'll take the stone. Unfortunate things. We gotta open Oak Stone up to a braid. Yeah. That's fine, though. Uh, really good uh, thing for us is that they turn their lands, their two uh, fast lands, into mountains, so That's relevant. Yeah, I mean, it's usually not that big. Because you have Manamorphose. Yeah, that's not what it's like. Usually you have Manamorphose. So. Like that, you know? It's <laughs> turned it into two reds. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. No Phoenix, no way me, no way me, no way me. That's too much Phoenix. Uh, 10 damage, put to 7. Yeah, we're dead. We're actually dead. We're actually dead. That sucks. Indeed. Fun games of magic, chat. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Fun, interactive games. If we were on the play there, we win. That into the Phoenix Tron match was very play draw dependent. Yeah, for the play we would have been able to uh, Tron them. Um, like if you like, the both times that Phoenix was on the play, they won because they just had more momentum. Mm-hmm. And the one time we were on the play, we just buried them, and just the amount of hate yeah. that our bigger cards can provide. And great creator like dumpsters Phoenix. Uh yeah. Yeah, it does good work. It finds exactly what we're looking for usually. That is one matchup where I do think about bringing in the relic from the side. Yeah, uh, just I think have, so. Just to have the higher hit of it, because usually by the time you're um, you're getting Karn Creator to activate, if you don't have um, if you don't have Tron, you're not doing it on turn yeah. three. So. League matchmaking failed. Oh my god. They know the power that we have. The power that we wield. That we create. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that where that comes from? Oh. Come on, opponent. You said you sent me the list. I did. I did. I messengered it to you. Sweet. The only thing that's changed is uh, uh, the natural states have been changed to the new one. Have you been liking that a lot? Um, it gives you more plays against uh, like Phoenix and Dredge. Mm-hmm. Against stuff like Tron, I wish it was natural state. Um, but. Just a lot of Tron today, huh? Yeah, return to nature. That's what's cool. Called. 
It like is blue white and just guideless. It's pretty nice because they you can either hit the D sphere, the rest in peace. Because sometimes like blue white brings in rest in peace, mm -hmm. or uh, you can also hit um, like a target off Snapcaster Mage. Right, which is pretty sweet. Well, let's see if they have a tr uh, Karn. If they have a Karn, we lose. Correct. Correct. Yeah. But if they don't, we win. Co also correct. Really cool how that works out. Mm -hmm. Very, is, very fun interactive magic. Yeah, absolutely. This is what. We, this is why we play magic, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh nope, he doesn't have Karn. Huh? No, he does not have Karn. We <laughs> win, folks. <laughs> now he fetched. He searched out the tower. Correct. Uh yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. He is going to be digging. So it is still correct to crack the tower, but realistically doesn't. We're shooting in the dark at this point. Because they are drawing four cards after they searched it out. It's very interesting that he wouldn't crack one at a time just in case he hit something. Yeah. It seems like a misplay. That's just me. All right, well, we're this gonna, is... This we're, is Oh, yeah. Phoenix, you so. got another tower, another so we're, tower. Not, we're not hitting tower. The power plant. Or the mine. How did Phoenix go? Uh, they were on the play twice, and they won twice. We were on the play once, and we won once. It's really, really quite strange how that happens. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, like the one time we were on the play, we just went turn three, Tron, great creator, turn us here. And they conceded. Mm. And that was really a uh, bummer because that last game we were if we were on the play we would have turned three car in them either create creator or liberated but because they were on the play they got the blood to us and then they found a car yeah they are gonna hit our car they should but we'll see if, I don't know yeah okay that's reasonable yeah it is. Uh, So, I just have. Do we go? Well, let's just play a star and see what we find. Right? Because that's what we're going to end up doing anyway. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. So we have to hit their Karn. Yeah. But they didn't have a Karn last turn. Like when they first assembled Tron, so they drew into that. And we do have two more cards back up, so if you find the tower, we're in good shape. Well, that's just really Mm-hmm. So on the following turn, we can cast Walking Ballista for one, shoot the Karn so it cannot minus again. Correct. Sanctum? No, they got power plant. Huh. That's a bummer. I think we still just gotta play the uh Yeah. Can we just give him the Ozone? Yeah. We're down to 10 viewers. We're not entertaining you. <laughs> it's okay. Some nights have more viewers than others. It's my first time showing up. Gosh, there should be so many viewers. All my fans. They didn't know about it. All the children that come here. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. I just want to see what they fetch up. We get a lattice. Well, don't concede yet. Don't concede yet. We find well, if we, I mean, if they have a lattice, I'm conceding. Did they get a lattice? Yes. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Death Dozer. That sounds like a badass name. Why are you the Gorbatron? You could be the Death Dozer. <laughs> you could be Death Dozer. <laughs> no, I can't. He took it. Unbelievable. You could be Death Dozer, but you're not. You're Gorbatron. Yeah. Garbage Tron, really. 
You don't even play Tron. Like, yeah. That's not really put in your life, you know? Yeah, we're... we're, we're See, like... <laughs> what do you do? That now? was a thing like, way before I ever played Magic, so... I'm sure... Sure, whatever you say, Magic. Yeah. I use Voodoo. I still use Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your point? I don't have one. <laughs> There's not a point there. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. All right, so we're going to be on the play. Wait, so we left the Lugans in this time? Because last time we decided to one of them out, right? Yeah, but I also had another thought on it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we kind of thought that for a spyglass. This is all right. Capable. It's capable, but it's not good. We have a ghost quarter, though. That's pretty important. Yeah. You're not wrong, Mr. Gorbatron. Okay, this turn four so thought last year is going to be amazing. Well, they're not assembling Tron on turn three, so. We're, we're, we're actually, saying. I, think our, I think our hand will probably better than what they got going on. Our hand is that just happens much to be like the best draw on the deck besides like tower. Uh, now here's the thing: do you ancient stirrings or hold up for sylvan scrying? Ancient stirrings. No, we just sylvan scrying. Yeah, we just oh. wait. We wait in sylvan scrying because we'll still have. Do we though? No, no. I, I would crack it now in ancient stirrings. Yeah. Because if we find it, oh my, oh, we're all oh my. Gosh. Why do we? Why do we doubt ourselves? Current break creator, please get it up, please. <laughs> no, why? Sure. Just why? Because we're genie tron now. Oh because God. we're just gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the next turn. We're gonna play that. Get liquid metal coating. Liquid metal coating. <laughs> There's only one. Huh? I know. I know. We're gonna turn off the tower. Why would we not turn off the green source? I feel like you turn off the green source. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we, we just turn off That's the green source. That's also shut down, too. Yeah, we're in good shape. We just turn off the green source. <laughs> and then from there on, we just start blowing up their lanes one by one. Remember how I said I couldn't play Affinity with that card? You know? I think that these Tron players, they have a tough time with it, too. All their eggs suck. <laughs> Alright, chat. We are in what you call good shape. <laughs> Maybe, but we gotta go to game three where they're on the play. That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're gonna do the exact same thing in game three, chat. Vault lands? Yeah, exactly. We're mono green Ponza. We're better Ponza. We're mono green control. Oh, my apologies. Tron is classified as a control deck. Yeah, and he concedes to the liquid metal coating. As you do. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> Just can't beat it. <laughs> Good lord. Like Baby Tron? Or Baby Karn? He's basically Oh big my Karn. gosh, dude, this hand is gas. Just no lanced. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, this turn three. Yeah. It. Great creator. Uh, sure, sure. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. What are you afraid of? Map. <laughs> I mean, that could just turn, as well. That's fine, yeah, I know. Turn, but turn that one map. That could just signify, like, so Turn one map is one of the hardest things to deal with in modern. Why? It could just be, like, someone's grind. Get you. I don't worry about someone's grind. Well, you should. There's just as many as maps. No, see, he's anxious. He's got. He's got straight. What do you find? Just Horizon Cannon. Oh, he's green white drawn. It's not like you might just be mono green drawn and you want to play a canopy. Yeah, some some of them play canopy as a one off. Mm -hmm. Just draw a card. Okay, so we are in what you call great shape, and we drew a green source. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know how relevant that green source is. Doing stop being stop being so optimistic. Uh, how is that not being optimistic? I'm just calling, I'm just saying what it is. Like, okay. I mean, we might need a green source eventually. We don't know. Yeah. Just not with our hand. Yeah, we just have right a up. sphere for the green source. Oh, please be greedy. Please, please. <gasps> what are you so psyched about? So now their expedition map can't be activated. Oh, oh my gosh! I mean, and we like them out of I'm in. <laughs> Chat, this is why... You, I'm in on this like This is always now. why you crack the expedition map before playing anything else. It depends. In some decks you actually want to uh, 
yeah. in Tron crack the map. <laughs> yes, in Tron. <laughs> there, that is a quick concession from Great Creator. Jesus. He could see it because he knew we were getting the liquid out of I understand. God, so sweet. Like, you gotta get on. It's liquid metal coating. So, how do you feel about uh, current your creator of the light control? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it. Uh, this hand is crap. This hand is gas. No, it's all enablers. Yeah, it's, ga- it's it's literally all gas to find the enablers. I mean, we're keeping it's the we're we're driving down the road to find these enablers, right? We got turn. So. Three. We're gonna keep, and it's gonna be a car great creator on top. I'm it. That's not current great creator. Put it at the bottom. I'm pretty sure we keep this. No, yeah, so. let's keep that. All right, let's keep this. Okay. It's relevant against most of the decks in bottom. It's not great creator though. You're not wrong. It's not going to be But knowing our luck, this is probably Scape Shift. It's probably just another Tron deck again. Oh, blue. Oh, it's Phoenix. Did Thoughtscour us? Is it Mill? <laughs> oh, because we put the Relic on top. Oh, that's, that's why. That's smart. They're so smart. And so it's probably Phoenix. Um, I mean, it could be a lot of things. It no, could, you're wrong. You, no, you know what? It could, it could also be that mono blue. Could be a boat. It could be that mono blue Libyan deck. <laughs> okay, so there's Scully Darn. And so it's looking more like Phoenix every day. I'm really sad I got rid of that relic now. It's looking like Phoenix. Could be Storm. Could no. be the bad version could of Storm. Could be Rug, Rug Moon. Could be Rug Moon. You <laughs> never know. <laughs> it could be a lot of things. Let's just see what they play. There's going to be Manamorphos and then. Like, so. Do it. Oh, oh, do it, please. Oh, oh, oh. Just do it. <laughs> True Sphere. True Sphere, can I get a, a just a, a GG opponent? <laughs> get a GG in chat. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting for it. <laughs> got a GG. Oh, they can still bolt our Karn. That's fine. They're still not so, No, they can't. They need, okay, now they can. They're going to bolt Karn, but they still have to play through Trinisphere. <laughs> yes. So do we now, for the record. It's fine. It's fine. We have it's a lot more it's mana fine. than they do. Our, man, our towers... I just want to point that one out to you, Dewey. I know, I'm just saying. It's three manas for a star right now. That's fine. I've seen worse. I'm pretty sure they're a little bit more affected by the... Oh my gosh. If we just keep finding gas like this, we'll be in good shape. Uh, is that great creator? We're in good shape. Good. Get we get another GG in chat, please. <laughs> Card. So uh, tick up on Trister. No, no, don't no, tick up on Trister. I'm just ticking up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to. It just can't beat the great creator. It's hilarious. <laughs> and you know what we do in the next turn? Mm. Some plus. <laughs> we're not gonna last. That. <laughs> they just can't wait. No, we're not. They're well, Why would we do that? Oh, well, go. Yeah, they conceded. Right. You're right. They just concede faster than we can last them. Let's try. Why aren't we on this deck? I just need a great creator, everybody. I'm gonna try bringing in you know, the other relic this I, time. Like on this Don't list, want to leave a relic in. This? Oh wait, no. I know. Normally I do. I, I I normally do. But I'm gonna try bringing all three relics in just to increase the chance of us being able to pop a relic in turn one and two. So I think we cut a. And to be fair, if we're grabbing relic with great creator, that means we're not grabbing like. Yeah, I think I'm kind of correct. You know, microsplatus or liquidated coating. So exactly. Like, yeah. We well, know. We can't cut liquidated coating. We know where we're at in life. We want that liquid metacode. We know what we want. We want Trinisphere. <laughs> we want liquid metacode. <laughs> I, I'm just shocked he didn't concede right when Trinisphere was played. It's like. They can't play through Trinisphere. <laughs> they can't mm. play through Trinisphere. Mm. Uh, this hand's rough. This hand's getting shipped. I, I kind of like it, but it's pretty bad. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's an Andrew hand. That's a Dewey 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 hand. <laughs> okay, so we're going to game three, folks. <laughs> GG opponent. Good. You played very well. <laughs> what kind of crap was that? 
Uh, see, that's so, what we like to call Magic the Gathering. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, without the London Mulligan. So, this is when we all learn. Let's keep oh my God. sketching hands. That is a total keep. I mean, we do have a relic. I am going to keep this one. We do have a relic. We have an expedition map. It's fine. I like playing Relic before map. Just saying. I would play Relic for... Uh, yeah, yeah I'd play Relic. What happened? I'm playing map. All right, fine. Play map. Get it blown out. Like, you're wrong, but okay. Why? Tell we don't have a payoff. Yeah, I'm saying, what, so what, what's the difference here between... Why? So if, if I play the map... They're going to play I, like... Play what? Okay, so now we're in really good shape. So we drew our green... Uh, green source. So we're fine. So like... The reason I played an expedition map out there first is that if, if I they draw, take a turn off to a braid. No, if I take if I draw a Tron piece, right? If I draw a Tron piece, I get to activate it and then I still have it. If I run out relic, I can still activate relic next turn. The first turn I don't get to activate relic. Every turn you, you might have played silver so, or uh, serum visions, but yeah. yeah, that's the only that's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, so like you're you're talking about activating relic on one spell of a graveyard, which shouldn't matter that much, right? Yeah. Like for them, you're you're bringing in relic because you're hitting arclight, or you're hitting faithless. Arclight sucks. Hashtag it. <laughs> I mean, it killed Dewey twice. Well, it Dewey, Dewey was you know. <laughs> it's not an yeah. actual response for the record. Yeah, no. Dewey's great. Uh, he's great. We're not Jack. disputing this. So it looks like they're gearing up for a blood moon. That is what it looks like to me. They well. have we have a nature's claim in hand. He doesn't know about that. Yeah, that's fine. We just play the relic and pass it. I concur. Play the relic, tap it immediately. Because there's no point not to. Yeah, that's that's one thing. I, I see so many players yeah. make a mistake on. It's like, why are you trying to play like? Why are you trying to be fancy with relic? Like, you see the land, doesn't matter when you tap that relic. It they're gonna does exile not the matter. They're going to exile the land. They want to keep the spell. And a lot of times you actually want to aggressively do it against, um, you want to aggressively do it against, like, Delph decks. But the thing is, there is a lot of times you're supposed to hold it up mm -hmm. if you think they're going to surge. Oh, sure. Sure, yeah. Then you in this deck, it. you're not really worried about that, though. I mean, they actually play surgicals in the main, now. No, I know. <laughs> Manamorphos. We're in bad shape, folks. Is it Manamorphos? Did I call it? I did call it. We're in bad shape. It's always Manamorphos. Ch one lesson, chat. They always have Manamorphos. It's kind of like Spirit, playing in Spirits, when you're like, the only thing I get blown out to... Yeah, but Spirits is, is a bad deck, though. Yeah, it's true. And spirits are bad. <laughs> but <laughs> when you think... Phoenix, the only thing is a good I could get blown out to is Spellcaller. Guaranteed. Blake will tell you here, too. Dewey will tell you as well. They always have the Caller. Mm -hmm. You play like into it. against Burn... Always have the skull crack. Always. Always. Anytime you're like life game, skull cracks. It. Of course, you have one card to hit. You just threw it off. So the top. I'm not sure what they're digging for. They're not digging for anything. They're flipping out a whore. Yeah. Oh, I forgot they had that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot they had That's that. That's fine. We're we're not in good shape. Turns uh, out the card doesn't really care about. We don't actually have a payoff. He is We're running actually right. in really bad shape. No, but we can get Tron, and then we can Ancient Stirrings, and find a card. So what we're going to do here... And we'll be fine. So what chat, this is, this is the play. We're going to uh, play Ancient Stirrings, find Card Great Creator, play in Staring Bridge. I mean, that's not what I would play. Uh, well, we got a Worm Coil Engine. That's pretty good, too. What else is that? Is that Ugin? Nah, that's we, Ugin. Nah, we, want, we, we can't play Ugin. Yeah, we're the gonna... bad thing is, we that tapped is we the forest, so now we can't hold out the relic activation. I think we just crack relic now. I am leaning towards that. Just crack it, dumpster it, because if they top deck a, uh, what do you call it, Pyromancer Ascension, we're really bad shape. Okay. What a professional. What they put on top? Mm. Or sliding. I can't remember. Probably. It was an anamorphous. Seems reasonable. I hear good things about free spells. <clears throat> yeah. Good okay. Call. So it was a good call. Good call. So they're going to pass it off here, which is good for us. And we have nature's claim. Um, That's the question. Do we hold it up? I think we just... No... Uh, I think we, I think we have to find I think we something. Do. We have to find something. And they, uh, it's not like they have anything in the graveyard right now, and they only have four cards in hand. 
Thanks for the resubscription, Zoc. Another relic would be good. I, I think we know. just grab the forest. Yeah, I think we just grab the forest and claim. Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. Because we have the other stirrings in hand. I think we just literally pass it off. I like swinging there. You like swinging here? No, I'm just kidding. I think I, I don't hate swinging. We're, we lose a life in this. We but lose a life in the trade, but we... So, I think I think swinging is the correct play, because we are the aggressors right now. We lose a life, but they lose life as they well. Lose, they lose six, we lose one. I guess, yeah. Are they going to do like a braid? Like, what are they... This is on our turn, right? They're, they're metamorphosing for yeah, they're a braid, yeah. yeah. That's okay. fine. That's totally fine. Uh, while their mana's out, I feel like we're just going to claim here. Yeah, yeah, it's reasonable. Um, so they're oh, down. Now, we have a, now we have Death Touch blocker. Yeah, now they're down to three cards. And at worst, we have a we have a lifelink blocker if they bolt the Death Touch one. Yeah, and it's at the point where if we draw... Oh, did you shout out your subscriber, dude? I did. That was oh, okay. It's a resubscription. So, at, at, and we're in a really good position right now because we draw any payout. I hope That's I really know. unfortunate. No, it's not. We but we still have Nature's Claim. Yeah. Which our opponent doesn't want. But if we draw any payoff, the Saint of Pavilion is triggered to find a new log. Or we could just draw no. a log. Incorrect. We could find Crown the Great Creator. Uh, you can't. It see. only gets creatures. That's what I'm saying. You were incorrect. I, you, if we, yeah, we just need to draw a Crown the Great Creator. Do we find it, please? Or just Crown the Great That's fine, too. <laughs> Give me the hunger. What are you doing to me? What? We took, I took out the hunger. Chat. What tell Dewey he's wrong. You guys what? tell me he's wrong because <laughs> I would have kept... You always keep the hunger in. It doesn't matter. No, what no, no you don't. Well, I, I play... No, when they chat, have fun, just, for, just for some background knowledge, I play Affinity. And I'm telling you, Lion of Dying. He's really bad at it. Lion, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Blake. Appreciate it. I beat you all the time. That's irrelevant. <laughs> I never said I was good. <laughs> That's right, too. It might be correct to keep it in there, but... Uh-oh, Karn down. Karn is down. That's fine. That's fine. We, we're, we're still winning the race. Coil again, though? Yeah, we're still winning the race. And they actually know about the other one coil engine, so that's kind of... Uh, that's not great. Um, so we can find like... Blast Zone out of the deck? Yeah. Hmm... Yeah, you find Blast Zone, put it on two for Thing the Ice, and they play now two copies of, um, what you call it? Of Pyromancer Ascension? Oh, but like I was saying, Jed, they never take out the Google Mark. It's always there. Yeah, I mean, I very well may have not wanted to keep it in here, but... I, I put that, I have them dead on turn three. Every game. Doesn't matter. They'll keep that Ulamog in. They'll be like, yeah, I lost. I had these two Ulamogs in hand, and I just couldn't play them. I'm like, I wonder why. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to kill you in turn three. Why are you playing Ulamog? Oh, uh, yeah, we got revenge. All right, let's see if we can close this out with a 4 1. And then apparently we're going to play Rug Moon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And this just terrible pile. <laughs> He's not wrong. He is not wrong. It wins a lot, but it is a terrible pile. <laughs> Does it win a lot? Yeah. It, I no, feel one, like, no one knows I feel how. like you just get exceedingly lucky with it, Andrew. Blake, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do beat Sam Black with it every time. <laughs> it is a fact I beat uh, Sam Black remember, with that bad pile. Remember the, uh, the Warper is a player that was cheating against you and you still dumpstered him? <laughs> He's oh, been yeah. gaining a life. He <laughs> one artifact to play. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Blake, that's Metalcraft. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. I goof. Good answer, goof. Here's <laughs> not a goof. Good card. Oh, goof is so good. Oh, our paintings. Looks nice. Blake, should have been another red one. I didn't want to go without Kara. Took was talking trash the entire time. Yeah. How he was an artiste. Literally does not surprise me. I mean, One to be fair, way. both of you were talking a lot. I don't trash. know what you're talking about. I don't think you guys know how to do it. That also. <laughs> that also does not surprise me. And then uh, I gave the guy, the guy who was teaching the class, a nickname. 
and then it stuck, and everyone in the class was calling that. It was, actually, it was actually just you two. No, no, there's people. Uh, <laughs> the old people that were at the table were like, thanks, Professor Picasso. <laughs> like, Professor Picasso, uh, can you come take a look at this, please? He's a pretty good guy. He's, he's he was fun. a good teacher. He was fun. What'd you guys drink? Mimosas. Uh, mimosas. Nice. Because no, was... did they supply it, or did you have to bring? You had to buy it. You have to pay for it. This, this is, is a supply. very good ham. Very good. Yeah, they have they have a bar. Okay. Um, Are we on the play or the draw? In this instance? We're on the play. We're on the play. Very good. So like the one I went was... to in Traverse City, you brought your own. And that's fine too. Like, how is my uh, my storage doing? That's a different game. I'm a game? communist in this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. How's how's my? Uh, my I stopped model. playing that game oh. a long time ago. <laughs> was I making too much money? <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> You're like, hey, I got to a point where I couldn't upgrade anything anymore to make a reasonable impact. I, I remember you were the kid. I was like, why don't you just upgrade? You're like, because there's no point. You're like, why? And then you upgrade it and you're immediately just like, end up money to buy everything back to where it was again. Because I had so many cards. Oh, another Tron deck. How there's fun. There's a lot of Tron. What is that card? Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's the power uh, point. Yeah. Took me a minute. I'm not used to seeing it on one. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Do we find a tower? Nope. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> and do they have second Tron piece? They do! Do they have a way to find the third Tron piece? Sure feels like it. Sure feels like it. It sure looks like they're tapping off for Sylvan's Grind. I hear that's a good play. I hear it's a strong play. It's really what we wish we had. I agree. No, don't be greedy. Now, you know what would be really sweet? If we go turn, if we rip the tower off the top. No, I'm just if talking we, about... If uh, we concede, drop lead, play rug. I'm in. <laughs> so we're going to draw a tower off the top, chat. That's what we got, we're going to do. Then we're going to play drop a card, great creator. Look, uh, look no, we card. would never do that. Do we? Well, do we? It's like a 50 minute shot. You draw stuff enough. That's unfortunate. Well, he bought a silver scrying. What are you worried about? Eh, we're just going to play this time. You're really greedy today. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. It sucks. Yeah, we need them not to have uh, liberated. Or, or, we're greedy. That'd be really unfortunate, too. No, it would be. Turns out, Oldstone's well, not very good against that card. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, if it's great creator, it's not the worst because we can play Worm Coil Engine on the next turn. I mean, when we if they don't get liquid we can't coating. pop the old stone. No, 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 no. We just would end up playing just. Okay, well, they got. Yeah, we all knew they had Tron, so. We, well, they we knew they had Tron. See if they got to pay up. They're tapping three. It does not look like they're tapping for Liberated or Great Creator. <laughs> Can I get a GG in chat, please? Not <laughs> GG. That is a warm coil. That is a warm coil engine. And they tap. So I like uh, drawing tower, popping Ostone, playing card, and killing a land. You know, I just like cracking Ostone here. Why? They have a worm after that. That's fine. It's fine. They have two worms after that. It turns off their map. <laughs> Shut up. I think we just. Uh... Oh! I got a pretty sweet play here. Don't listen to Okay. Okay. Play Gar Karn Great Creator. Okay. Search out liquid amount of coating. Okay. And then. Or no. <laughs> no, no okay. Play attack. Karn. Play Karn. Animate the O stone to block. It doesn't animate until end of turn, right? It animates until your next turn. I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. No. I mean, I'll, I'll do that if that's what you want. Because I feel like the better play is just to run out um, Karn and, and then just hit their. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not trust Dewey. No, that's fine. We can do this line. But if we're upticking, we should... I think we, we just play a star first. See what we find. Yeah, if we're going to be doing this line, we're, we're going to be cracking stars. Oh, we can just uptick on the star. Yeah. And block with it. That seems really reasonable. <laughs> but we can crack one first. Yeah. That seems super... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, that's great. So now... That should change doesn't change it. Six, seven, eight. No, it doesn't so. change anything. I think we're still doing this. This line suspect, but we're doing it. 
Oops. It's a little suspect. Here. It's suspect. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a, a suspect little, line. A little bit. Oh, but now we can move closer. And mm-hmm. things uh, really go sideways. Um, yeah. And with the when you're doing the star, uh, star says when it goes to the graveyard, oh, yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter how. So that's yeah. pretty sweet. That's actually not pretty sweet. Super sweet. And we have ten mana, which doesn't. Doesn't mean. <laughs> like if we draw, if we draw exactly another. Tower. No, if we draw any other Tron piece, we can play a Worm Coil. We could just get Liquid Bended Coating Mixture. You're absolutely right, Blake. Or Michael Flaps. No, no, that's what I'm saying. If we draw another Tron piece, we can go Worm Coil and Flaps. That's such an Ulamog. It really sucks. Oh, that's a That card's. That's a bummer. Not very good here. That's a bummer. No, they shoot our chromatic star. Yeah. We draw a card and they, and kill, and they card. kill a card. That's we use Old Stone to save it. What? We use Old Stone to save it, right? What you, no, we don't want mana. Oh, it's five. Right? I was thinking three. I'm three. Don't go listen And it would still kill old. I'm just here creator. looking pretty. You guys can just play. Kill the creator, too. Yeah, it would kill our own creator. Which this actually, that, their line right there was, you know, didn't really do much for them. And they're just going to hold up map, you know, which is fine. Oh my god, old stone for days. How many of those do we play? Three. Three. I thought. <laughs> Three. How many do we draw? Three. Three. <laughs> we really can't do anything besides just passing the turn. I'd rather crack the old stone. Crack it now? Yeah. And then just play another O stone. Mm-hmm. Don't hate it. And they're gonna crack the map, find another drawn piece. Right. If we got another land, we gotta drop the worm coil. Yeah. What are they find? Ghost quarter. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough for us. That's a like an oof. Oof and chat. Are they good enough to see the line? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do they see the line to just ghost quarter one of the one ofs? Damn it. Andrew, they saw your line. They saw the line. Damn. It's a Brewster bubble. Oh, right. We do have superior Tron lands. You're absolutely right. <coughs> <operating>. <laughs> <laughs> Their lands are what you call subpar. Mm. Turns out, didn't matter. Yeah, green mana was definitely unlocked. Uh, now we're going into game three. Is that right? Yeah. Because we can Because we. That's game two. We current great creator. Game yeah. one. We did, in fact, do that. So this is game three, right? Pretty sure this is game two. Well, we'll find out we just, we just brought in Nature's Claims and Thought Knots. Well, that's unfortunate. We're down a game, chat. We played so much Tron, they kind of just all blend together. You're we not. Play you're this. not false in that statement. Uh, this hand <sighs> is suspect as hell. It has a potential, though. You oh. are not going to keep that, Dewey, and you know it. I'm keeping those. Okay. This is the so this is this is the one. one. This is the one. After okay. Hand. No, no. Okay. Right. Well, let's wait. Let him explain. This hand can go spear into stirring to find the Tron piece. So we're still not doing till turn four. Huh? We're still not it's not till turn four, but I, I don't think it's unreasonable not to keep. I don't think it's not a hand. That's you know, worth I just want to put everyone hates on me because I keep these really awkward hands that do nothing. Your hands aren't digging five <laughs> to hit any land. Not any lands. One of two one of eight. Just, yeah. One of eight. <laughs> It is a pretty sweet list, Awkward Ninja. It's pretty fun. Yeah, this deck is sweet, and... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the number of times that today I've seen Dewey just go turn three, Tron, Karn Great Creator, Tritosphere, or Liquid Meta Coating, and the game's just over. It's ridiculous. Turns out getting, getting Tron four more Karns. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's not even that relevant. That's the thing. Like It's just like... I'm, it's not, just a I'm not even sure if it actually made the deck better, is a thing. You're just using it as a removal spell for land. It gives you more versus... 
makes you more versatile, I feel like. Yeah, but it also limits your sideboard options, which then... It does. It does limit your sideboard options quite a bit. See, look, they kept a four starings. <laughs> so we they, kept a one land seven, one land seven card hand. It's this hand's fine. It was literally a five. He's gonna card draw hand. a Tron piece. Where he's gonna oh draw god. six drop. Oh god! Never punished. What's Never. That? What's that? Punished. What's that right there? What's that? You only get one of them, do you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I also have a map. I hate life. What do you hate life? These are like reasonable things we're doing. They are so unreasonable. These are very reasonable. You know who would play this kind of deck? Ray the Unreasonable. I don't no, think I could see him playing this deck. <laughs> well, maybe. This does have prison oh, elements gonna, to it. He's going to ghost corner us. That's unfortunate that we have a, a silver silver strike that we <laughs> literally couldn't use. Does he have an Atreus claim, though? Oh, he doesn't. Yes. No, he doesn't. So next turn we'll have enough to run out card. Just card. Yeah, just card. We don't get anything with card, but we get. Card. Uh, well, we could minus and grab like a. Uh, just grab. Um, We're gonna grab like the lattice or something. No, no, no. Like, oh yeah, it's, yeah, that's fine. We can do that too. I was gonna say we could grab like a. What do you call it? Uh -huh. No call idea. It? The relic. To cycle. Why? Who do you want relic why would he? Why does he have a relic in game two? A lot of players keep the relic in because it's a redraw. No, it's a, it's a very reasonable thing they to don't. do. I don't do it, but I can understand why other players do it. And grab lattice. If we had needle, we could grab needle. For what? I'm just saying it is something we could have done. It does, <laughs> it it does right counter. Play. You're right, I still it does counter surgical. I don't know how many Tron decks are gonna keep a surgical. And uh and again in the oh, a lot of players that have surgical play surgical. So they'll uh, keep they it they'll keep it in the oh. They'll bring it up. Close up. Okay. What'd you do? I knocked my mic down. Apologies there, everyone. Don't want to lie to you, he's not surgical. Knocked my mic over. That was a my bad moment. Ooh, this hand's terrible. This hand's tripping. Actually, Dewey, bear with me. Does dig three and guarantees you have a drawn piece. <laughs> it's you know, not five. <laughs> this hand I'll keep. Whatever, Dewey. Whatever. <laughs> this <laughs> logic is like all over the board. No, no, it's not. So, like, the reason I keep this hand is because it gets to do a stirring. Yeah, it's, it's, gu it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed, Tron. I'm just, I'm just keeping front time. It's not guaranteed by yeah, any stretch. Get it. No. Not a turn three. Not on turn three. But we're, we're just okay, good. Now? Like, we're just good. Like, now it is. Whatever. But like, whatever, Dewey. Dewey's a cheating. You make us look stupid over here. <laughs> that was the correct thing to do. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> Blake and I look at stupid over here. Like, See, it is like medium. <clears throat> just rip the Tron piece off the top. Oh, yeah. The reason the other hand wasn't keepable is that it only was going to get one card. So Even though it had, could dig three, you weren't digging three on the following turn. You were going to go land... But you had to draw three, so one of those three could have been a trap piece. Yeah, it could have been. But like this hand, the reason this hand is worth keeping is that it has multiple pieces that can dig. And then the big thing here is that if you're going to keep a one lander or one trap piece, you need a stirring so you can... Go you're right, Lucid that. Hope. He is never punished. I am definitely punished all the time. Not... Mm, mm, Yes. Well, did they find the last Tron piece? No, they stirrings for the Tron piece they put in play. Ah, I see. Well, that sucks for them. So. Yeah. Well, let's see if they have a card. Because we certainly don't. Really? We're not in that great of a position. We can't <laughs> Tron, but we No, that's the other reason why this hand is reasonable, is because the stirrings can find a payoff. Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night, do me. I sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This doesn't look like a carn. It is definitely not a carn, folks. 
Okay, so he's gonna get like a warm coil engine. We'll be fine. So like, we need to draw something to go this tower. We're gonna draw. He's gonna not gonna. Find Otherwise, the our turn's gonna look a lot like their turn looks like. So, so they found a card liberated. It's fine, guys. It's fine. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna draw a Congrate Creator. Get liquid metal coating. Liquid metal coating the tower. No big deal. Okay. So, Greg, you're not wrong. You. There has been a ton of Tron mirrors today. A ton. At least half of our matches. Yeah. What is that? Ballista on one. What the? That art is sweet. Where is that art from? It's a promo. Since when? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Maybe a, maybe a moto You're talking promo. to the promo gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might be a moto promo. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. So, we Ancient Stars. And they have a trunk. They have So, is there any way we can fetch a ghost quarter here? <sighs> oh, wait, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter, would it? So, they have Karn. Shit. So, um. Well, we're going to gamble and see if they. Wait, blow what up. could we hit here? To see if they blow up our mine. Thought Knot is really good. Takes their card. Turns but we're out. still playing the Ancient Strikes first. Uh, I mean, I will after I play the Thought Knot. Okay, okay. Reasonable. Take card. If they have three creator, we lose. They would have played it last turn if they had it. I've seen it. I've seen it. They definitely have. You've seen the it. future? Is that what you're trying to tell them to? I it's haven't good. played the new. Oh my god, goodness gracious. Okay, chat, we're in this game. What was this hand? It was lands. <laughs> uh, I have not tried the new Ugin. I don't think he's worth it in this version. <gasps> Great creator. You love that. <laughs> you are having such a hard on for that card. It's unreal. I, I do want to try Nugan in an Eldrazi list, but I just have a hard time playing it in this version. Um, I feel like if we want to play him, we should be on a different build from away from the Great Creator. And we have nine mana next turn, so we can't... If we draw a tower, we lock him out. You know what we could do with this deck? That's cut the Ugans and cut the Ulamogs and just put the four of the... Other card in here. We could just. We don't could bear, 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 with me, bear with me. We could just put four Nissa Story in the elements. Nah, that's too much. Too much? Two. That's too much. Two. Nah. One. <laughs> yes, I do want to play a card in the Great Creator in e Tron as well. It actually, uh, Elder Gregory, it, the, over the weekend, um, the Nerd Rage gaming event was won by e Tron. With uh, Karn of the Great Creator in it. You don't want to destroy Drake. Oh, what's up, George? <coughs> Just a moment, you know. That's cool. Mm -mm -mm. So we can go. Uh, we still still in scrying. They go quartered. So this all still there. Um, and we took their Karn. How you doing? Get a room. Excuse me. Sturge and I, let us express cards. ourselves, okay? Mm -mm -mm. I have another card in hand that's not supposed to be there. I have three cards marked. Anyway, um, so we can Ancient Stirrings here to try to gamble to the Tron. Um, or we use Sylvan Scrying and then uptick Karn. I think we just uptick Karn yeah. and block Worm Coil. Enjoy. We have the chat room. We don't need a room. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do. We're just gonna build. I'm not sure what he said, but I'm gonna do it. And then by doing this, we can make sure that his ballista can't activate. So then we'll block worm coil. A car will take one, and then we'll just minus here. And. We can get Crucible. That doesn't seem unreasonable. Then we can Sanctum and Chain Sanctums. They, I like that. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, you can't Karn, uh, up to uh, Karn only hits uh, on uh, Karn only does non creature permanence. Have you ever seen uh, it is completely trash on playable journey quest? What's that? So show slash movie, I guess. It's like fancy. Do have you ever seen Journey Quest? No, I can't say that I have. Usually reading the card explains the card. Yeah, those are See, solid that's a thoughts. lot of work to, like, to ask us to do that, though. We just expect you to tell us. Yeah, sure. Reasonable. Now, if we find a Karn liberated off the top just to answer the worm coil. Or a reasonable shape to one hand. So we're letting them draw a card. I know we are, but I feel like keeping Karn on the board is important, too. It turns off leather eggs. Darn it. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh, there. Mm. We're okay with this. Uh, there's an O stone in the sideboard, right? There is. That's good too. So do we just sanctum? I think we ancient stirrings. See what we get. Well, the downside to down taking this carn is that it goes away, you know. Yeah. And. But we could get like an ensnaring bridge to shut down the worm coil. Yeah, but then we the could play crucible and we play worm coil. We could uptick on the crucible. You know what I actually don't hate? I don't hate playing the Ugin, playing the san the sanctum of Ugin, then playing Ugin and shooting the walking ballista. Sure. And kind of conceded the fact that the great creator's gonna die. So they can double up on Ugin to kill Ugin, but we really don't care about the Ugin. But if that's the case, though, we should be starting first, then, right? Yeah. It's uh, liberated. Does Karn change anything? Not really, because we need to answer walking ballista. Well, now we could, while it if shut we down. played Karn, we could kill one of the ballistas, and then they would have to choose which Karn they had they wanted to kill. Well, if we Ugin, we also get to just kill the ballista and Ugin. Or no, 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 we the Karn would kill one of the worm coils. So yeah. then they only would be able to kill one of the cards. Yeah, but then the problem with doing that is then you un you allow them to unlock their ballista because they'll they'll swing and kill our card. Yeah, and right now their land their hand is all land. That's true. So I'd rather okay. do this line, and then we can run out Ugin. Ugin will reasonably be able to live past this turn, unless they double up, which is fine. Which would be really aggressive. Uh, we grab, we, yeah, it's we not really that great on this board, I feel like. And we just tick car up and call it a day. I mean, is there anything we want to grab? The, well, what, no, is our, what does our sideboard look like? Here's, here's the thing, Blake. So if we tick it, uh, if we tick it up, and then they kill, they double up on Ulamog, then we get to minus Karn. And uh, he'll still be alive. They also know we have an Ulamog with ceaseless hunger, so they have to. So Ugin is actually a really big threat right now. Because if Ugin pluses one more time, and they don't have an answer for it, we just win. Ooh, that's pretty good. Just swing at us. I mean, so they kill Karn. They should swing at us and pop us. I mean, they, they swing no, they have one, to kill Karn. One at Karn and one at us. And, oh, okay. and then pop us down. That seems reasonable. God, why is our opponent making so many reasonable plays? Oh, well, let's see where he attacks. Er, 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 er. Yeah. And now our Ulamog can't exile 
everything. It can, but it's just going to hit uh, double mine. Yeah, you just got to attack two troll mines. On the next turn, we can either play Worm Coil Engine uh, and uh, Crucible, or we can play Karn and Crucible. Well, we play Crucible, we'll get back Sanctum. Mm -hmm. And then play Karn. Wait, is there anything left in our deck to get with Sanctum? What did you... Was there a Blissa left in our deck or no? Yeah. Did you take two traumas from us? I, did, I took oh. two mines. They play another power plant. They have uh, two power plants, two towers, and two force in hand. And then we just block the life linker. No, it doesn't. doesn't I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because our attacks are attacking their library, not their health. Well, we're not attacking. We're at five. We're not attacking. I mean, that's fair. Can we one, two, three, one, two, no? We're we twelve. We can't double worm coil. So if you play another land, if you play the the forest. Then you'll be at We have a tower in the grave, so we could play Crucible, play Tower. Yeah, I would we'll just play the Worm Coil after that. Yeah. I mean, I guess we can attack, but. Because um, we'll have a Worm Coil. Because we'll have a Worm Coil. But if well, they, I don't, I if don't they draw a Nature's attack. Claim, we're kind of screwed. Yeah, we would lose if they did that, so. No, we can still attack. attack. But is there anything left in our deck to grab with the Sanctum, do we? Uh, there's still another ballista. Is there another worm coil as well? Yeah, there's a ballista, then there's two, uh, one more thought knot. Okay. Yeah, I believe one more worm coil engine. That's fine. I mean, they'll have Tron, but they only have a force. Speed. And we can carn to get rid of their... Their colored source. They have another one in the end. Forest, no. Big color. I mean, they're playing the mine. This no, they play the forest. Yeah, they play forest. See, now we can attack. So I think before we do anything, we should probably just attack. Yeah. Well, we want to start. I mean, just let's just attack first, see what they do. I mean, they're not doing anything. They have a forest and a mine in hand. I think we ancient strings first. Right, but let's see what they do with their board. Yeah, but I have the chance to. Like, there, like if he, when he what does Stirrings card? first help us get? Karn, the great creator. Yeah, if we Karn him, the game's over. I no, go, what, I why go. would you just attack, not attack first, and do everything main phase? I thought you main phase two. Well, that's just the smarter play, right? I don't think so. Like based off what we can hit off Stirrings changes. Well, the hold on, hold on. Place. If he, so if no, we attack with, if we attack with Ulamar, or if we attack with the Worm Coil engine alone, yeah, we block with a Death Toucher. We have two creatures. They lose one, and then if we get Karn, we just win. A great reader. Because we lose. our attacks are dependent on what we hit with Sturgis, is what I'm saying. Are they? I think we're just attacking one. We can play regardless. both our threats. So we can definitely hit them out of the game with Ulamog. Sure. Right, but all of that's irrelevant if we just get a great creator. So now we have a great creator, and we can just uh, run it out, and we can get a what? We can just get a lattice and lock them out of the game. Not necessarily, no, because they can block. They can attack Karn. They have three attackers. Okay. That's why I was saying attacking first. Yeah. Let them block before they we give them any information. Okay. That's why I was saying attack first. Yeah. That's that, yeah. That's what I said. Jeez, I agree. No, you didn't. You agreed with Dewey. No, I said, I said attack with one coil alone. No, just both, because we, we're we gaining six, and then we're playing another one coil. Okay. Whatever. Well, either way. I think Sorcerer Spyglass is a good pick. For what? For what? Why would you just not get Lattice at this point? Because if Karn dies, it's a relevant. I think I'm just gonna run out Karn and Worm Coil. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Or if you attack with both, you could play the big Karn, get rid of one of their tokens. And also just tick up on the uh, 
the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, it's like that. Yeah, just get rid of them when it's open. All they have in hand is two lanes. So we're not two attacking? Lanes. Yeah, we're attacking. They have two lanes in hand. So. I just would play this this turn much differently. Okay. I mean, I, we're ending at the same spot. It's just they would have had to assign blockers before knowing no, we were no. playing another Karn and a Worm Coil. No, I believe we're not the same. If you just attack with Worm Coil, you block. I just want to point out that you guys are talking about two different lines. Like, we're on three different lines here, oh. right? Oh. Like, all three of us are on a very different, att uh, like, turn. I was on attack with your two creatures... Well, so I, they I, would I, have to assign blockers before I, they I do understand. anything. I understand. I understand. And then we could on. assess from there. I, 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 I'm not disagreeing with your line that you have. I'm just pointing out that you have a different line than he did, and I had a different line than you two did. So we're not on the same page there, so I just don't want to say that you guys the are point. talking no, about... the farthest from correct. Oh, you like a lattice. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I see double. <laughs> I agree. Blake is being a child. <laughs> Greg is also right. We're so far ahead, we can't lose. So, was, oh. well, George is always right. I mean, they could definitely. George, why are you here playing this deck? I mean, they could definitely just drop O Stone right here and wipe everything. We don't oh. care if they O Stone us. Yeah, right. What do you take? He took. Uh, he the card. one thing they can't blow up with O Stone. I they took our Ulamog with Karn. Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. Sure. But now they're just locked out. Yeah, we're just going. So attack. To... So attack first. No, attack. Attack with one worm coil engine against Karn the Bridgen. But like, so why not just Karn minus on a worm? Hold up my worms. Play Karn. And That's fine. Get, yeah, go, I, that, that go works get too. Go a lattice there. <laughs> that the works game, too. Following turn, Ballista and wipe their board with it. That works too. Yeah. Yeah. As, long as, as, long as, play, as long as there's only two creatures in play. Yeah, they'll only have two creatures in play. Just, Dewey's lines are just a lot more conservative than I than I would play this. That's all, that's the only difference. So you play Lattice, then you just minus on a Death Toucher. And then you play a Damping Spear and just pass it off. Or not Damping Spear, yeah, you know. <laughs> chromatic Spear. The so the the lines that I had was what we ended up doing, which was uh, playing the stirrings first, right, and then deciding the attacks based off of that. Blake's line was to attack with both creatures, and then allow your opponent to uh, allow the opponent to make their decisions, and then from that we can stirrings because then we're not giving them too much information. Andrew's line was attacking with just the worm coil to force them into a situation where they should block, and then from that do those stirrings and go from that. Or you just lattice them. Yeah, you just lattice lock them. Because realistically, their only way of beating us is through loss of life at this point. Woo! In my line, had them dead, I think. A couple turns. Just by, with the Ulamog decking now. That was before yeah. we knew they had yeah, a card you, you were on the deck out plan, I was yeah. on the you can't play plan. Okay, so that is the end of the Genie Tron for tonight. Uh, one of my guests would like to play. The yeah. best deck ever made. Fun mood. So we're going to swap over to Rudge.